Hello everyone. Sonic Mania Plus. Sonic Mania Plus. I'm not even a Sonic fan, but this game is so well made and such a tribute to this blue hedgehog thing that I don't care about that I'm starting to care about it and I really want to play it. I want to finally experience Sonic in a way that I think people experienced him when it was new. And I ordered this on American Amazon and they shipped it graciously to Japan and for once it wasn't damaged in shipping, which was nice. Uh, but then I found out that the Japanese one here comes with the soundtrack, so I bought it twice. And why did I buy it on the Switch twice? Well, yeah, good question. I, yeah, that was kind of dumb actually. But anyway, here it is, so <clears throat> now I can compare them. And actually I was looking at buying the, um, the German one because it's available on the Amazon site for Japan. But enough is enough. So here we go. Sonic Mania Plus for the US. I think most people have seen this. I'm gonna try to keep this sticker in. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and here and you don't need to watch me do that, right? So hold on. All right, cuts have been made, but this one has locking flaps. So I'm gonna use this butter knife to get it open without damaging the box. We'll just get to this one first. And, uh, well, let's see, I cut it. Where's the, ah, there we go. I don't care about this plastic. I just want to keep the sticker. I'm just going to rip it off like that. Yay. And then I'll, I'll deal with this later, but I'm just going to cut that out <clears throat> like that and keep it in the, in the case because it's kind of part of it, right? Because I'm OCD like that. So this one's shiny. As you can see, it doesn't move or anything. It's just shiny, that's all. And on the back as well, shiny. It's apparently the best Sonic game ever. I don't know if that's focusing properly, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I never understood Sonic because I was a Mario guy, right? Like I just, I like to take my time, jump on the stuff, find the things and, and move forward at my own pace as long as it's within the constraints, constraints of the timer. Sonic, on the other hand, is like, no, go really fast, you gotta go really fast, ah, speed, speed, turbo, turbo, blast processing, and I never understood that. The Sonic game that I liked back in the day was Sonic Spinball, because that was something that I could understand. So, anyway, but now I'm starting to, from being a shoot 'em up fan, I'm starting to get the idea of memorization of levels and experiencing them differently, as you have learned them. So, anyway. So this is the American version, and like, I'm speaking English, and I'm from America, and I think that most of my viewers are American, so <clears throat> this is not probably so new and exciting, but I want to flip through it really quickly. Anyway, ooh, all right, early Sonic Mania logo concepts, okay, which do you prefer? I don't care. I like the green one. On the bottom left. Pink butt. It's just nice to have anything, you know, paper. And I don't know this, but I feel like, so they gave you this, right? And they gave you this and it's a reversible thing. But you're going to open, I'm going to open this game. I've never watched an unboxing of it. But I bet I'm going to open this game and there will be no manual. All this extra paper, but no, can't give us a manual, can you? No, couldn't do that. So, there is the spine. In the back, I guess it's the same, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, come on. Throw me a bone here, people. I cut it. What do you want from me? I thought I cut it. It looks... I guess I didn't cut it. It's definitely cut. Man. There we go. Okay. Rip it off. Ha ha ha. Woo! Okay. Blah. Okay, and then you open up and look. Oh, wait. What is this? There's something paper. Well, I mean, it's something, I guess. But I'll take anything paper at this point. Just even just to justify the existence of this, right? Come on, man. I just, I mean, I love this game, the fact that it came out on physical, but 
Okay, so this one says Genesis. This is the reversible. I'm not going to take it. I'll just show it to you, yeah? So here it is, the Genesis one. And I still am really tempted to get the German one. The thing is, it's going to be in German. I'd rather have like a UK one, so we'll see. Or none, none whatsoever, because it's totally unnecessary. But, yeah, I'm probably going to switch that around, huh? I might as well just do it. Sonic is back. <laughs> That's normally how I feel too, right? And I think most people at this point, Sonic is back. Oh, great, another Sonic game. So it's refreshing that one comes out and people are actually excited about it. No, dude, this one, it's really good. Seriously, play it. You know, and that's kind of what the reception of this one has been. So, awesome. And yeah, I'm sorry, but this the, the Genesis cover looks way cooler. Wait, I mean, that spine is so boring. Look at that spine. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. So... I'm actually going to play this as soon as I finish making this video. I'm looking forward to it. But enough of that. Let's see, see how this goes. I won't bother with putting everything back together right now because time is of the essence and it's already been five minutes. What the hey? Okay, so let's get this one opened up. The main difference, and I'm sure, like 99% sure this one can be played in English as well as probably some other languages. Not that I care about those other languages, because I don't understand them. Oh, well, first of all, this isn't a, I don't like that. This isn't a slipcase, it's a cover. So, but I really want to keep this. It's, it ends up being essentially a spine, like functioning as a spine card. So, wow, look at that. That's really interesting. So it's actually all yellow. I didn't know this when I bought it. <clears throat> and that's really neat, but I want to keep this. But it's all it is is just like it really functions as an OB or a spine card. And I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep it nice. <sighs> Alright, well, that's that. I don't know. Anywho, so this has that locking flap I mentioned. And let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, feels so right. Can't be wrong. Note, no damage to the flap. Oh yes, feels so good. Woo, smooth, so fresh, so clean. Okay, let that be a lesson to you, everyone. Yay. So, here we go. This is what comes with that, this and the other. Wow, lots of stuff in there. Okay, so here's the game itself. I guess we'll save that for last. Uh, just a side by side here really quick now that I've flipped it over. It's the same, right? Alright, so there's that. That's good to know. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Original soundtrack. And it has, <laughs> wow, 54 tracks. Mm -hmm. Smooth, that's how it should go. All right, it's so yellow. I'm amazed how yellow this is. You'd expect the theme of a Sonic packaging thing to be blue. But oh, and this one's reversible too. How cool is that? So yeah, the uh, box art for even the soundtrack is reversible. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and swap it around. So this is what it was, what it is when you buy it. But it's about to get an upgrade. Yeah, sorry, gotta go slowly because I wanna be careful. Well, this is re I'm really glad I bought this actually. There's this local game store, well it's a toy store and they have games as well. And it's always, always overpriced. But this time it was just retail, just normal price. And if I can buy something at normal price, I would rather buy it at a brick and mortar store than online. So for various reasons, I want to support local stores because I can look at the stuff before I buy it and also because, you know, stuff. Environmental reasons or whatever. Anyway, very, very cool. I'm gonna 
listen to some CDs. This is nice. I would say this is the version to get for Sonic Mania Plus if you have a choice. And I think the only thing that's left that I need to show you is the inside of the game. So we can see the reversible cover art on that, which will be the Japanese Mega Drive. And I'm starting to kind of want that German one. <laughs> kind of starting to want it. Because I'm, I'm like that. I just want everything. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed with this Japanese one. This, uh, so the American one, I think, is basically $30. Japanese one with the current exchange rate is forty, like forty-one or forty-two dollars, but you're getting the soundtrack with it, and a nice big box, and you've got reversible art on the soundtrack as well as the game. And let's look at that now. How was that for a segue? Oh wow! I know this. I'm very familiar with this box art because my most of my Mega Drive or Sonic, uh, Genesis games are Japanese. And look at this. This is actually kind of a manual. Okay, the Japanese one is better. Sorry. It says Sosa Gaido, right? So a control guide, basically. How to how to control your character and stuff. And that's essentially oh and it's even got what? Okay people. I mean that's it's it's paltry, but this counts as a manual. This counts as a manual. It's all about the Sonic Mania Plus Japan release and look at that box art. Holy moly. People always talk about how the Japanese box art is better, blah blah blah, like by default. And I often disagree, but this is one case where I'm going to go ahead and say Japan gets the best version hands down. Because, because it is. It's better, hands down. Look at that. That is awesome. So, not to say that the American one, or the, I mean American, North American, sorry, is uh, not nice, but, and it's cool that it has a huge Genesis thing on it, I guess. And I like the spine. But look at this. To me, there's just, there's no competition. This is so much more retro, and like, it reminds me of this, the Sonic uh, art. Oh yeah, it's just, ugh. it's no contest in my mind. This one's so much better. I don't regret really buying this, but at the same time, like, if I had it to do over, I, uh, I would just get the Japanese one, I think. However, having said that, so much stuff to go through here. This uh, art book, right? Yeah, you get the art book. For yeah, so the Japanese ones, all you need. You get the art book in both of them, and they're both in English, right? And I think the German one, the pictures too. All the art books are in English. So how about that? Anyway, I've gone on long enough. It's just funny, I'm so excited about this game, despite the fact that I'm just not really a Sonic fan at all. I mean, there I, I love Sonic Racing, um, but yeah, just this this is just such a... I can't, I'm just talking too much. Look at that! Love it! And stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna go play this. Wow! Bye-bye!